You all are most welcome in our YouTube channel Sawal Bawal. Our today's Sawal Bawal is whole square of AB is equal to CCB where AB is a two digit number and CCB is a three digit number. We have to find the value of A, B and C. Before I start solving this question, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Let us start solving this question. AB is a two digit number and CCB is a three digit number. By observing this question, we can say that after squaring two digit number, we will have we will have a three digit number. It means let us find those two digit number which has only three digit number after squaring. If you will square nine, then you will have eighty one. And it is a two digit number, it is a one digit number. The smallest number is a 10 after squaring which you will get 100 and it is a three digit number, it is a two digit number. It means we can say that the smallest value of AB will be 10. Let us find its largest value. Largest value for finding the largest value, if you will square 31, then you will get. 961 it is a two digit number and it is a three digit number let us square 32 then you will have 1024 a squaring two digit number will give you the four digit number then we can say that a smallest value of ab will be equal to 10 and a smallest value of uh, largest value of AB can be equal to 31. Means the value of AB which will give you CCB will lie between 10 and 31. Now let us observe a square of 0 that is equal to 0 a square of 1 will give you 1 a square of 2 will give you 4 a square of 3 will give you 9 a square of 4 will give you 16, a square of 5 will give you 25, a square of 6 will give you 36, a square of 7 will give you 49, a square of 8 will give you 64, a square of 9 will give you 81 and a square of um, we, need not to, not, we need not to take 10. After observing this square, we can see it, say that since uh, after squaring AB, we are having CCB at the unit place, we are having a B and the unit place of three digit, we are having B. So, we need to observe a square of 1 that is equal to 1. It means B can be 1, a square of 0 is equal to 0, then it means B can be 0 also. But a square of 2 is equal to 4, it means B can never be equal to 2. A square of 3 is equal to 9, it means B can never be equal to 9. A square of 4 is equal to 16, it means this number is not repeating, it means B can also never be equal to 4. But a square of 5 is equal to 25, it means at a unit place you are having 5 and, and the unit place uh, here also you are having 5 it means b can be equal to 5 a square of 6 is equal to 36 at a unit place you are having 6 and the unit place you are same here therefore you can say that value of b can be equal to 6 similarly if you observe for 7 8 and 9 we can say that uh, value of b can never be equal to 7 8 or 9 therefore the possible value of b is equal to either 0 1 5 or 6. The number which are lying between 10 and 31 with the unit number 0, 1, 5 and 6 is either 10, 
11, 15, 16 और 21, 26, सॉरी 25, 26. Therefore, if you will square 10, this will be equal to 100. If you will square 11, this will be equal to 121. If you square 15, this is equal to 225. If you square 16, it is equal to 256. If you square 21, this is equal to 441. If you square 25, then this is equal to 625. If you square 26, this is equal to 676. But we are interested in those number whose pattern is a b whole square of a b is equal to c c b if you observe this number then you will clearly see that that number is either 15 or 21 a squaring of 15 will match with this pattern and a squaring of 21 will match with this pattern therefore the our required solution is the value of a is either equal to 1 or 2 the value of b is either equal to we can say that either equal to 5 or 1 and the value of c will be either equal to 2 or 4 and this is our required solution and which are matching with this pattern is 15 that is equal to 225 and the 21 that is equal to 441. This is our required solution. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share. And thanks once again.